Okay, um, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Biopack lab kit, at home lab kit, and just give you a quick demo of how things are gonna work. When you first open it, you'll have your disposable electrodes in it, and you'll be using these and then throwing them away when you're done. So you've got those. Next in a little bag is the lead set. And I'll be taking that out of the bag and we'll be hooking that up in a minute. And then last is the actual data acquisition unit itself. So there's that. And in order to start connecting them, first thing you'll do is take these two pieces. And if you look at the connector points, they connect up like that. So you just put those on there. You can screw these things down here to make them it tighter, um, but I didn't really need to, so that's just an extra step if you want to. And as you're moving the whole combo unit over to your computer, please always be careful with these leads. They can break. They can break around here, they can snap off, and we would be very sad if they broke. So at the tail end, of this, of the uh, data acquisition unit is just a USB connector. So the next thing I'm gonna do is connect that up into one of my USB ports here. And you should hear the old connecting noise. And um, the first time you do it, your computer will probably um, tell you about how it's connecting to that unit, but mine is already connected, so it didn't go through that sequence. You'll need to wait through it adding. Um, the next thing you'll need to do is to find your settings for sound, and this is a really big deal. I think I had the other videos about this on, on the, that I posted on Canvas, but this is really odd. It doesn't make any sense, but what it turns out what they have done is uh, they're reusing the microphone channel for data sharing. So if you go to your input, you fish around for your sound. So we're on our sound listing here, and then you go to the input step here. You'll see there's this USB PNP audio device. So that'll be probably active. And you're supposed to set it all to uh, 40 volume. So right here, I've got a master volume up here. I'm gonna set this to 40. And sometimes I have to set it twice. Um, and just for good measure, I'm gonna look at my sound devices. Make sure my microphone is there, it is. Okay, so we've set everything to 40. And now we're gonna go ahead and launch the Biopack software, which you have hopefully installed. It's going to be right here, so I'm going to launch mine, and it'll flicker on a screen, and then it's going to prompt you for what you need to do next. So um, then we're, we're going to start with the electromyography, and uh, so I'm going to double click on electromyography, mm -hmm. and it prompts you to name it. I'm just going to name it Brittany EMG. See if I typed it right with one hand. I got it. Okay. Say okay. And it takes a few minutes. Now, this is going to be your next step if all goes well. What it's saying is set the dial to EMG high. So, on our unit, we're going to set that to EMG high. Here we are. And then it says press and hold the check pad. Continue to hold until prompted to let go. When the light starts to flash, check, click check MP41. So what they're saying is the check pad is on the unit itself. And you, this is just a button. You might not even know it's a button. You're gonna hold that down. And come here, I need help. Oh, yes, help. <laughs> I need my help videographer to help me with this. Hold this. So. Now zoom way into the computer. So while this thing is clicking, now I need to ch click the this button here. Can you zoom in here a little bit? There we go. Now I'm gonna click check MP41. And now just show the whole screen. There you go. 
there, it kind of flickers and you can't see anything. Um, and then it says, let go of the check pad. When the light stops flashing, click continue. So I'm gonna let go of the check pad there. And now I'm gonna click continue. There we go. It's a little unwieldy videoing and doing it, but there we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, and so now, yep, here you go. And so now what we need to do is check the next settings and we'll do that in the next video.